after the death of George Floyd, I think people started to open their minds. Because quite frankly, when people were talking about don't give money to police, that's not what I heard. What I heard people saying, yes, we need police. We want you to give law enforcement what they need. But Mayor, we also want you to invest in these neighborhoods that have been overlooked. We talk about rising up. If we don't affect and impact our kids, children that are growing up, then they'll grow up bitter and angry. Because you know why? We, we live in a mobile society. Let me tell you when my eyes open up. I grew up in Acres Home. I still live in Acres Home. But when my dad put us in his truck and drove across town to the other neighborhoods to cut their yards, we're driving on those streets. They were so much nicer than in Acres Home. The yards, the houses were so much bigger. And so my brothers said to my dad, why does it look so bad over here than where we are? And as a kid, let me tell you, that impacted me. That stayed with me. Okay? If you want a better future for everybody, then the kids have to believe that regardless whether they live in the East End, whether they live in Gufton, whether they live in Sunnyside, that this city believes in them and is going to invest in them such that when you're driving through or on a bus or on a train, the communities don't look so dramatically different. Now, culturally speaking, those are good things. The diversity, that's a good thing. Communities having personality, that's a good thing. But communities being less than are not having grocery stores, you know, schools that are not where they need to be, mm -hmm. lacking economic and business opportunities, illegal dumping. You tell me the last time you find illegal dumping in some of, the, in some of our more affluent communities. People don't dump in some of these affluent communities. They dump in communities that are already burdened right, right. because they feel as though they can handle that because that's the way it has always been. My deal as the mayor of this city is no, no. We're gonna rise together because one side can't rise and the other is, is, is still down. So we have to rise together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So com complete communities, so complete communities is saying, you know, let's invest in our, in, our, in our neighborhoods. Let's show people that we care before there's a flashpoint. We shouldn't need a, a death of a George Floyd or anybody else before we decide to do better. And lastly, on this point, what I would say to you, yes, the city didn't burn after the death of George Floyd. Yes, there wasn't much vandalism. Yes, 60,000 marched downtown and they went home peacefully. And we didn't have to have a curfew. And Houston has been blessed. But Houston will continue to be blessed if we continue to invest in all of our people. And just because it didn't happen then doesn't mean it won't happen next year or year after next. If that investment doesn't take place. If it doesn't take place, and if it doesn't take place in a transformational way. Mm -hmm.